United States of America versus Sherrod Roberts. Counsel, please make your appearances for the record. Assistant U.S. Attorney Tracy Evans for the United States. Assistant Federal Public Defender Jesse Gasson on behalf of Mr. Roberts, who is presently in court with me today. We're here for the sentencing of Sherrod Roberts. Has counsel had an opportunity to review the pre-sentence report? The government has reviewed the report, Your Honor. The defense has reviewed the report, Your Honor. Is there any reason we cannot proceed with the sentencing this morning? None known to the government, Your Honor. None asserted by the defense, Your Honor. Defendant and counsel may step to the podium and you may allocate. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, Mr. Roberts has accepted responsibility for his actions. He comes before the court today seeking leniency and mercy. He's a young man who is trying to turn his life around. He was employed at the time of his arrest and he has a young son. His family is very supportive as evidenced by their presence in court today. Your Honor, he finds himself here because of a foolish mistake in thinking that a gun would give him respect. And in making that mistake, he's lost his freedom, his family, and his friends. Your Honor, please show the defendant mercy and leniency when you sentence him today. Okay, thank you, counsel. I'll hear from the defendant if he has something to say. I just wanna say I apologize for any embarrassment and all the problems that caused my family, especially, especially my mother, my girl and my son. I would just I'd like to ask you for a little bit of leniency because I know what I did was wrong. And if that put me in this predicament that I'm in right now, but your honor, I promise, if you give me a break, nothing like this will ever, ever happen again. I'll hear from the government. Your Honor, Mr. Roberts has an extensive criminal history as evidenced in the pre-sentence report. He's had his chances for redemption, Your Honor, and he's continually thrown them away. This time he wants the court to believe that he's learned his lesson. But Your Honor, this is his fourth conviction in a short time. When you decide to carry a firearm, you're raising the stakes very high because no one knows what would have happened had the police not stopped Mr. Roberts when they did. The statute is clear, Your Honor. Based on his prior felony convictions and the possession of this firearm, the defendant must be sentenced to a mandatory minimum of at least 15 years imprisonment. The government is also asking, Your Honor, for a three-year period of supervised release, a special assessment of $100. And because the defendant will have the opportunity to work while he's in prison, we're asking for a $1,000 fine. Although the advisory United States sentencing guidelines would apply in this case, since there's a mandatory minimum, the statutory minimum must be applied. Mr. Roberts, please stand at the podium with your attorney for your sentence. Mr. Roberts, the court has no leeway in this case. You've asked for leniency, but there is none to give. The statute is clear. Pursuant to the Sentencing Reform Act of 1984, it is the judgment of this court that the defendant, Sherrod Roberts, is hereby committed to the Bureau of Prisons. Mr. Roberts, I sentence you to the custody of the Federal Bureau of Prisons for a term of 15 years. The minimum term of imprisonment cannot be suspended, nor can you be given probation. You are further ordered that upon completion of your prison sentence, you are placed on supervised release for a period of three years. You must pay a special assessment of $100, which is due and payable immediately. The court recommends that you be enrolled in the Inmate Financial Responsibility Program and that a portion of your earnings be used to pay a fine of $1,000. Mr. Roberts, you have been sentenced on your plea of guilty to the offense charged. The court has imposed its sentence. The court advises you that you have 10 days to appeal. I remand you to the custody of the United States Marshal. Marshal, take him away. Fuse the connection. Look, man, 
We all go through the changes of life. And sometimes, except for life changes, we all fall into the things that's not right, like violence, sex, gun, drugs, and hatred. We end up following negative people when we was chosen to lead them, thinking we in control. And then, and it ends. And in your favor, but you gotta play with dealt. So much heat upon your waist, it'll make your heart melt. Now you in a cell, cause you live for yourself. And now you by yourself. Acorn duck, innocent to the charges, but your wine play rough. Addicted to the hustle, say you couldn't get enough. But the greed, the envy, and the lust. You said money is a must. No, money ain't a must. You need to slow down. You need to buckle up. Buckle up. You need to get your life in control. Cause you never know what the next is that holds. And it is the for the people's in your life. And it is the pain makes a poor man cry. And it is the we gotta take our time. We gotta make some gotta changes in our lives. And it is the you got 20 to life. And it is the you got your loved ones crying. Quick as all of a sudden you rushing and rushing, click clack, then you're gone. No discussion, got your whole family hurting. Judge just drop the gavel, marshal draw your curtain. You make your wrong decision, now your life through it. Had your great chances, and you blew it. We need to prepare for greatness from young. So in our older days, we got great things to look back on. God give us the strength. Together we can make it. Families and good friends. We gotta keep those sacred, but make no mistakes. Understand these rhymes. If they catch you slipping when you tripping, then you going for 